What's up guys, it's Spencer from Live Bearded and today we are talking handlebar mustache trimming. I'm gonna show you everything you need to know to trim and maintain a handlebar mustache from home. All right, before I start trimming, I wanna give a little props to all my guys out there rocking the all natural stash. Now, I stopped trimming a couple months ago specifically for this video. You guys were asking me for trim videos handlebar mustache. So I wanted to put it together, but I figured I'd grow it out so I can actually trim a good amount off and show you exactly what I do. Now, the all natural look is really incredible. I love this look. If you guys are going for the all natural, rock it. Just warning, get some mustache wax, throw it in your pocket, keep it on you at all times because a full mustache like this, I mean, a couple months, I quickly lost sight of my mouth. You want to keep wax in there, keep it pulled to the side so you can try to avoid making a mess. I mean, anything I eat, anything I drink, getting all over the place. Just be mindful of it. It's an awesome look. Um, I'm going to miss this thing, but good news is it's going to grow back. So let's get the trimming. All right. When it comes to trimming, you're really going to need two tools, a good set of scissors. And I'm not talking about the scissors or shears from your kitchen and a set of beard trimmers or clippers. Now for the scissors, what I use is typically I'll, I'll even out the ends with the scissors and then I'll create some separation from the beard, which we'll get into. Um, and then for the clippers, I'm basically trying to create some space here. Um, and the idea is just to kind of organize it, uniform it, create some space, make it easier to eat a drink, a little bit easier to kind of maintain. So um, I typically start with this area first and I always personally throw a little bit of wax in. And the reason I do that is so that you can style and kind of see where your, your hairs lay. Um, and I don't put a lot, you will, you can gunk up your trimmers by having too much wax or having product in. So make sure you're cleaning your, your trimmers um, regularly so that you're not going to mess up the blades. Uh, but I like doing this so you can actually really see what you are working with, especially on the ends, especially on the under beard, kind of the separation. Now you can see with just a little bit of wax, my stash comes together. And again, I haven't trimmed in a couple months trying to get some extra growth because typically I, I keep it off about the top of my lip. So just a tiny little bit of wax in there. And I'm out the door, typically, last little bit. Anyway, but for the purpose of this video, we're trimming. So what I like to do is start with the trimmers and really just clear out some space here. Um, really trying to go about the width of your nose. I'll try to do this on the camera here so you can see, but about the width of your nose and you're really just going to kind of brush from the center out and really only get some space, some clearance around your mouth. Now you can take this as short or as long as you want. If you want, I typically uh, try to take it about to the top lip. If you want to just pass and you want to just create a little bit more space, I mean, and, and let this grow out, I mean, you can literally just take a little off and it's going to make eating and drinking a lot easier. It's going to kind of bring it to a more uniform shape. So whatever look you're going for. And already I can start to see my mouth again. It's coming back. looks so small now. <laughs> it's amazing how different just like an eighth of an inch can look when you get used to seeing yourself a particular way, especially on the mustache. The mustache is right in the center of your face, right? It's kind of the focal point. So I always kind of do a, a, a single pass, kind of reassess, see how it's looking. Take this a little bit wider if you need to. And then I can come back and get some more. I don't personally throw a ton of wax to where I try to curl or make, you know, make these super tight. I don't typically try to curl these up too much. I like a little bit more natural look. Um, but when I'm trimming, I do try to kind of tighten it up a little bit so I can separate. And what I try to do is basically just separate the stash from the beard. A lot of guys, your mustache will grow and then kind of blend into your beard. So you don't really get that separation. Um, so what I do is actually kind of pull the stash hairs, anything that's kind of on 
the upper lip, the stash part, separate that out. And then any of these, like see these kind of grow with my stash, but if they get too overgrown, they'll actually blend in and then your stash doesn't have quite the shape. So what I actually do is try to get in here and I'll take my scissors, separate the stash out and then trim these hairs down slightly to give it a little more separation. And it doesn't take much, but typically just the stuff right underneath the stash, this stuff in here, stuff right under here, and everyone's different. This side needs a little bit more help than my other, so just kind of see what, see what you got going on. Trim the hairs that need to be trimmed. And that little bit of separation will allow the stash part to really, it almost looks like it's sitting on top of the beard. And you still have, obviously you're not trimming this down to your skin, you still have a lot of beard there, but just that extra little bit of separation Definitely take your time. Whenever you're trimming anything, the last thing you want to do is be in a rush. And then really for the end, it's kind of personal preference. I like kind of trying to get them to just like one even length. So depending on how short or long you want to take these, I try to take them back to where the bulk of the hairs are. A little bit more, uh, defined there and you're cutting across so this obviously these are all now at the same length verse a little scraggly on the other side and again everyone's got their own personal preference so if you want a little bit longer a little bit more wild rock it man now the one thing i will tell you when you are going back and forth here the last thing you want to do is uh, try to get these things super even, right? Like you get this side and you're like, all right, well that looks, and this side shorter, is this side shorter? And you go back and forth a million times. Definitely don't play that game because you're gonna just go ch -ch 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 -ch, and it's gonna go shorter and shorter. So be mindful, just get it close. Um, and that's more or less kind of what I do. I focus on just creating a little space here, s separating from the beard, and then, uh, you know, evening out the ends. Pretty straightforward. Um, it's amazing how different your, your mustache can look. I didn't really take that much off, but it was covering my lip, and now my mustache I feel like is half the size, but it's a lot cleaner. It's gonna be easier to eat, easier to drink. Um, and then maintaining this is super easy, because then once you once you have it to the kind of the length that, that you like, all you really need to do is just clear up this little bit of space as it gets longer, even these out, and then again, even the ends out, and you can do that every couple weeks. And that's pretty much it, guys. I mean, it really only takes a few minutes once you've got it figured out, but take your time. Anytime you're trimming anything, definitely block off some uninterrupted time so you can really focus and not be in a rush. Um, if you have any questions, let us know. Here at Live Bearded, our mission is to help beardsmen look, feel, and be their best. So if you have questions about handlebar mustache trimming, about products, mustache wax, anything at all, don't hesitate to reach out. We have a lifetime warranty, 365 day money back guarantee. Basically, we've got your back no matter what. Hit us up at support at livebearded.com. Again, we'll, we'll take care of you. Hopefully you found this helpful. You know, the cool thing about beards is that they grow back. So grow your mustache out, trim it down, grow your beard out, trim it, change your style, change your look, find out what you really, really like. And uh, we're here to help you along the way. So let us know how. Until next time, guys, live bearded.